so really you're only doing you're doing strength and conditioning and then you'll do just the one hard jujitsu jiu training yeah but not because some people maybe do less strength and conditioning or do yeah. like multiple times jujitsu jiu like really hard but also other people like Keenan have said that doing more than one jujitsu hard training a day like wrecks his body yeah it's so that's that's the difference that I told you, you know I've been black belt for 14 years plus the other eight years that I was like the color belts blue to brown and I'm used to do like two three hard jiu-jitsu training a day you know for years now I, I can't do anymore you know like especially because I, I want to do MMA so I want to to reserve a time to to progress and, and work my MMA um, at positions there so right now like I think my body so beat up that are like I think one session a day of jiu-jitsu is, is enough for me you know and uh, but I'm super competitive you know? when there like I try <laughs> I try to go to the kill or be killed you know now you've been all over the world for competition and seminars have you ever been to Korea before no that's gonna be my first time in Korea oh. I never been there I went to Japan Australia what else like Europe a lot but yeah never in Korea man oh. I'm excited nice you know like um, I know uh, the Zumbi, Korean Zumbi for MMA. Uh, he came here past the time he training on the lab, MMA lab, the, the place that I train MMA. So it was, he was always telling me good things about Korea and I'm excited to go there and, and take a look. Did you get to train with the uh, Korean Zombie? Yeah, we, we trained a few times. Like like he came here before, Next time, last time uh, that he came here, I don't remember exactly when was that. We, we trained more. This time he was right after his fight. I think he's still injured. So we just have a, like a lighter, um, striking sparring so just like moving around and things like that but it's always fun on a guy like him who like being fighting the best guys in the world uh, and so much knowledge to help me on the mma part and i tried to help him with a little bit of jiu-jitsu too and on what i can do you think um that tankinho has what it takes to win this upcoming tournament absolutely tankinho is an animal he's uh i think he's a little smaller for the weight class he's going to be competing in and which you know doesn't isn't much I, he trains with big dudes here um and i've seen him you know, he, he's he's on another level from being on another level he's really like uh, i've never met someone who's smaller than me that feels like they're way bigger than me he's uh in his technique and his just his jujitsu in general is i think one of the best in the world easily